Hello, and welcome to WooVit. I'm going to walk you through how to set up a basic game campaign. First, if you don't already have an account, click the Sign Up as a Publisher button and fill out the form. You will receive an email with a link to set your password. Once you're logged in, you start by clicking on the plus sign. If you're using Steam to distribute your game, we do most of the work for you. Start by searching for your game in the search bar at the top of the page. Once you've found it, simply select it to have WooVit automatically grab the information from Steam. When that is done, you can tweak the description of your game to perfection. Next, select the time zone you want all date and times for your game campaign to be in. This is particularly relevant to things such as embargoes. We adjust the time for each creator to be in their local time zone. This prevents them from accidentally releasing their content too early. For the most part, you don't need to set the next few fields unless you have something specific in mind. For example, Recruitment Ends is where you can set a date to stop giving keys, while Embargo Ends sets the date and time for when creators can release content. Below that, put the name and email address of the contact you want creators to reach out to. Last, on the left, are the options to receive emails based on certain categories. We can email you whenever a new video is submitted, if your campaign is getting low on keys, and even Daily Digest emails a video scraped from Twitch and YouTube that goes beyond the creators on WooVit. You generally will have an idea of the number of creators you want to reach or a limit on the number of keys you have. That can be set with the Recruit For field. Now that the basics are out of the way, let's get to campaign filters. These will determine who on the WooVit platform qualifies for a key to your game. As you change these filters, the number of qualified creators will update. Take special note of the difference between the first three filters and all the rest. The YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer filters acts as an OR. That is to say that creators only have to qualify for one of them. If you set a minimum number of subscribers on YouTube and a minimum number of followers on Twitch, a creator only needs the required number on one platform, not both. It's also important to note that if you don't check one of the streaming platforms or leave the field blank, it will make it so that creators on those platforms cannot qualify for your game at all. On all three streaming platforms, we offer two styles of filters. The first filter requires a minimum amount of subscribers or followers. The second filter sets an average number of views per video. On YouTube, this is specifically about pre-recorded content. On Twitch and Mixer, this is average concurrent viewership during a channel's live content. From there, you can require the content creator to have played a certain number of hours of a game to qualify for a key. This can be useful for distributing DLC as well as verifying the creator plays games in your relevant genre. By default, we have a filter enabled that doesn't allow a creator to get a key to your game if they already own it. You can uncheck this if needed, but in most cases you will leave this as is. The filter below can be used to gate your game to creators that more actively participate in the WooVit platform by requiring that they have submitted a certain amount of videos to the platform. Last, you can limit your game campaign to only those creators that are partnered Twitch streamers. We're almost done. At the bottom, you select the platform for which you are distributing keys. Then, upload a CSV or plain text file of the codes you want to distribute. If you have any question on the format, there's a sample file for you to download. The last field is useful for embargo information, Steam test, beta branch instructions, or simply a message to creators before they accept a key for your game. And you're done! Click Publish, and depending on the recruitment start date you set, your campaign should be live and visible to creators to start getting keys and producing content. If, for any reason, you cannot run through the whole process in one sitting, you can also use the Save Changes button and come back to it later. If you have any other questions or suggestions, feel free to reach out to hello at woovit.com. Thank you for using Woovit.